Young Shy Beats. Hmm. I gotta do something about that. What's going on, family? I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day. I uh, was riding home from church and uh, figured out what today's video is going to be about. Yeah. So, this thing is hanging off. And I've been putting it off to do something that right now is held in by normal clamps, as you can see. Because these are factory. I just shaped them to make them what they are. So, yeah. We're going to get some hardware so we can create a much more permanent solution for those fenders. Yeah, man. We're going to be working on Liberty today. Should be quick. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, uh, yes. What's going on, family? So, um, yeah, man. It's something I've been kind of putting off on every once in a while. I've been pacifying the whole situation. I'm not sure what happened to that side to make it so easy to come off. Could be that I burst itself into something that's in the garage. I think that's what happened. Uh, I don't think it was anybody else. I think it was me. Um, and for some reason, that side, um, it always finds a way to disconnect itself and I think because it's held on by those pat wow by those plastic clips that was crazy driving um because it's held on by those plastic clips that um they're just wearing you know it's I don't think it's anything crazy it's just wearing so what I thought about doing is creating a new way of mounting those using bolts washers and a nut um, in my head, the way I see this working, I see a bolt, right? A washer on the inside of the panel. Uh, no, on a, a wash, uh, so on, on the inside of the flare. In between the flare and the body of the car, two washers. Um, and then on the other side of that, on the other side of the panel, a washer, then the nut. That's how I see it going together. The reason I, I think there's there need to be um, washers sandwiched in between there is because when you look at the the plastic piece, the mounting piece, it's um, there's a little space there. I mean, it's it's not completely flat. So when it goes against the car. It's not completely flat. So I think I need to add some washers to keep it from bowing or buckling so it looks normal, like it's, it's sitting the way it's supposed to sit, that it's not being forced in place, if that makes sense. Um, cool part is, is once I put that on there, it ain't going anywhere. Uh, I can brush against all kind of stuff. The only challenge when you do a solution of, you know, kind of permanently or semi-permanently mount those things um if you do brush against something you could crack it could crack but i don't i don't think i'm too concerned about that to be perfectly honest with you because we ain't doing that kind of stuff with liberty so we are at the home depot and we can go see what we can see yeah i think i got what we need we need to check on our couple more things and get up out of here. Nobody knows me knows that for me after church. I'm good for a nap. I didn't went in here. Left my wallet in the car. Forgot that they don't take out okay. Come back out to the car. Go back out get this stuff. I feel like I need a nap. Oh my goodness, guys. You ever had just... Uh, 
one of those days. It's not horrible. I can't. I can't make it seem like things are that bad. I'm just tired. I'm trying to set y'all up so I can get my stuff here together. Yeah. Just tired, man. I think we might have to grab us a coffee on the way home. Cause uh I'm just tired. Don't mind me. It was good service, man. Let me talk about that. That's what I want to talk about. We had a really good service today. Um a phenomenal word from Bishop. Um Choir did they thing. We just have fun, man. We always have lots of fun. You know? You always had well, I can't say you always. We every once in a while you run across that challenge. Um Yeah, it challenges everything, man. I believe choir is cohesive, especially when you're dealing with choir. This is more of a worship team, so it's even more cohesive and work have, must work together. It's just imperative. Can I get a um, dub espresso with uh, oat milk and brown and uh, three okay. pumps? A brown sugar syrup. A brown sugar shaken espresso. Is that is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, that that'll be great. I think that's it. All right, you can go ahead and pull forward. Awesome, thank you. So, yeah, new gentleman. And I'm, I'm trying to exercise all the patience in the world, man, but it's weird to have somebody come in who's not humble. And you're so used to the humble attitudes of those that are in the choir already, or at least with our worship team. And um, he comes across to me argumentative um, and it's almost like he just want to drive. He want to be in control of whatever he doing. He, he don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's important to him to work together. I think part of it is we get up there and we do what we do. We make it look easy, so people come up there. They don't. Those who've come and realize that it's actually a decent amount of work to do what we do, um, and are not willing to do the work, don't stick around. He uh, is an older gentleman who, in my opinion. You know, somebody that's just going to force their way through, go do what they want to do and still, I, uh, the problem I have, I feel like he's in it for himself. He's not in it for what we are there to do. Uh, and I think that's the part that always, and will always challenge me, especially being part of this ministry for so long that it's frustrating and it's disappointing. Um, the hearts of the leaders, you know, about giving everybody opportunity. And that's all of us, give everybody opportunity to excel, get it, get on, get on board. Um, I just don't think there's any ownership that comes along with it. I think that at least from his perspective, um, I don't know, man, it's just frustrating. It's disappointing. Um, and it's challenging because, you know, you, we are so used to working so well together and you got this one crux that throws things off like almost like don't want to do the work to do to be where you're supposed to be or to um to meld with the team i think he's there for himself i think he's looking for a, a lady i think he up there trying to find some spotlight uh for himself unfortunately
Yeah, man. And it's challenging for me because, you know, I'm one to, I'm, I'm, I'm challenged with holding my tongue with things, man. I'm going I'm to say stuff. Um, and, you know, we're supposed to say it with, you know, with a sprinkling of salt. And I, not, not, not heavy handed. <laughs> I'm working on me. I'm trying to get better, man. I swear I am. But all that comes with time. I'm getting better, man. I'm getting better. So we'll see, man. I don't know if I have energy to mess with this. This might be a to be continued. So I don't know. I, uh, let's see. Cool Park, man. The baby came to church today. I love that. Seeing the grandbaby now and then. Um, to have her in church more often um yeah man it was just it was still good no matter how frustrating those things get to be sometimes they never outweigh the good it is what it is I hope i'm not putting this thing too far down but uh yeah man we uh Got everything we need to put the fender back together the way we want to. I'm just a little concerned that I am not in the mindset to do this right now. Yeah, I'm just tired, guys. It's nap time. It's post-church nap time. And I'm, I'm like all for it. Thank you very much. You as well. I'm all for it right now, guys. I want every last ounce of that post-church nap. Like, everything that come with it, the snoring, the drooling. I want all that. All that. But we'll see, man. We're going to go with this oat milk. When we get home, I will discuss what we will be doing. If we don't do it today... We'll do it tomorrow, guys. We got some more stuff that we're going to be doing at Liberty. And um, I think this week could be a good week to prep stuff and start getting a few of those things taken care of. Um, we got some cosmetic things we're doing. We got some useful functionality things we're going to be doing got to get Liberty ready for the winter. So, I'm going to see you guys back at the Casa. Young Shy Beats. So we're going back to the house. I'm tired. I'm not going to hold y'all. Not going to hold y'all. What? This is this. Leave the door. Hey, look. Let me show y'all what we got to do. So, as you can see, these things are. One of them are missing right here. Another one's missing here. We're going to end up doing this, taking these out. And uh, replacing it with a bolt that comes from the backside. 
and it's gonna connect to this thing right here. I'm gonna pull it all together. Yeah, man. It's gonna pull it all together. So, I just don't have the energy to do that right now. So what we gonna do? We gonna say that for a task that we do in the morning, in the morning, in the morning. Sing with me, AB. In the morning, in the morning. Who else was singing with me? Miss I, I see Envy, I know you're saying with me. In the morning, in the morning, in the mow, mow morning. All right, guys, listen. We're going to uh, wrap this one up. Hope you guys had a great day. Hope you continue to have great days. Pray this holiday season is one that is uh, fruitful. It's joyous, it's rewarding. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just hope you guys have a good one, man. Thank you guys for hanging out with me as usual. Um, we're going to call this another episode from our vlogging season. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning when we're going to be uh, doing some liberty work. Yeah, man. Listen, guys, remember. You were designed from greatness because you were designed from greatness. Guys, you have the right, the responsibility, and the authority to never be average. So, guys, don't be average.